hosted by an unlikely duo who are just trying to bring a little sunshine into the world. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You know, D, I love that song. I could sing it all day long. What song is he singing? Is it the theme from Star Wars or smile meter Friday? I'm having a hard time figuring this one out. Nice effort, Dad. Thanks, D. And, and welcome, welcome to, to smile meter Friday. You may be wondering why we're wearing these cool t-shirts of two of the most iconic and talented musicians ever. John Bon Jovi. Oh, living on a prayer. And the boss, Bruce Springsteen. We're staying local this week and going across the bridge to their home state of New Jersey. And today, we're highlighting Spa Shah from Woodbridge Township, New Jersey, who is a 17-year-old child prodigy, singer, songwriter, rapper, and inspirational speaker. His life journey started with over 40 fractures at birth, and the doctors gave him only two days to live. He has had over 140 fractures, eight rods, 19 screws, and has never walked a day in his life. But that has never stopped him from following his passion for music and making the world a better place. And a little known fact about Sposh, he recently scored 1580 out of 1,600 on his SAT test. Simply amazing. I can't wait to see him later in the episode as he is super talented and was one of our 2020 Danny Award recipients. But now it's time for our first segment, Did You Know? Did you know that the first official baseball game was played in Hoboken, New Jersey in June 1846. And that the street names in the Monopoly board game are named after actual streets in Atlantic City. And did you know that New Jersey has a rich history of musical talent like Old Blue Eyes, Frank Sinatra, Whitney Houston, Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons, Queen Latifah, Gloria Gaynor, and cool in the gang. Getting back to Bruce Springsteen though. Hey D, did you know I saw him in concert when I was at UConn on April 27th, 1974, when he was just starting out? Hmm, that was almost 50 years ago, and he still remembers the exact date. Wow, I hope I have memories like that when I'm as old as he is. And now it's time for our main segment, Adventures with Daniel and Ken. And now that we're settled in our interview studio, we're excited and honored to introduce you to the multi-talented Sparsh Shah. Hi Sparsh, good to see you again. We're so happy you're able to join us today. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Mr. Trush. Thank you so much for having me here on smile meter Friday. I'm so glad to be here. Hey, Sparsh. So glad you're on the show with us today. And thank you for agreeing to perform one of your new original songs. We're excited to share it. Here it is, my debut single, There's Always Tomorrow. Have you ever felt alone, or maybe not at home? Did you want to give up, cause maybe it was too much? Well you might not have wings, but you can still fly and you can sing. Because who you are. Doesn't matter cause you're a superstar There's always tomorrow No need for the sorrow We will make it if we 
we can come back from where we began if you can believe it you can achieve it life's a mountain with steep and bumpy edges Ooh, when you have to push yourself all the way to the peak of the ledges well you might not have wings but you can still fly and you can sing because who you are doesn't matter cause you're a superstar there's always tomorrow no need for the sorrow we will make it if we can come back from where we began if you can believe it you can achieve it so don't ever believe that what you have will go in vain you can still follow your dreams no matter how much the pain there's always tomorrow no need for the sorrow we will make it if we can come back from where we began if you can believe it you can achieve it yeah yeah that was awesome sparsh i love the lyrics and message i agree daniel that was amazing and thank you in advance, Sparsh, for agreeing to answer some of our questions. Our first question is, who are the greatest influences in your life, and who do you look up to musically? The greatest influencers of my life are my family, my teachers, and God. My family has influenced me greatly because they taught me my values and motivated me from the very beginning to pursue my passion and achieve my dreams. My teachers have influenced me by educating me about the world, but also by encouraging me in the work that I do and, for, and by believing in me. Finally, God gave me my purpose. He showed me that I came here to prove to the world that nothing is impossible. And really, if there's any light people see in me, it's not me, it's God working through me to leave this world a better place than I found it. Musically, I'm influenced by all genres, but I especially look up to Indian classical music musicians for their musical mastery, hip hop artists for their lyrical mastery, and gospel artists for their mastery of purpose and messaging in their songs. Wow, Sparsh, that was beautiful. Do you remember when you first realized that you wanted to pursue music seriously? I think there was more than one moment for me that made me realize that music was to be my career. The first was when I wrote my first song, This Love Will Never Fade, at the age of 10. And that made me realize why people write songs in the first place. To tell stories that aren't told in ways that other people can't. The second moment was when I was asked in my summer school many years ago to write about what I hoped to accomplish in my dream career. And before then, I'd always wanted to be a paleontologist. But that day, I realized that I could also be a musician. And later I realized that I could impact so many more lives as a musician than as a paleontologist because music is eternal and it's a universal language. My third moment was when I wrote a song called There's Always Tomorrow. That made me realize that the purpose of music is more than just to tell a story. It also has the power to inspire and lift people's spirits. And that's when I knew that this is what I wanna do in life, inspire people, and that I would be able to accomplish this mission through music. Sparsh. You are certainly accomplishing your goals, 
and a truly an inspiration. As a follow-up, you often speak about your views and approach to life. Can you briefly elaborate on that? Sure. I think the biggest part of my approach to life is that there is no such word as impossible. In the way I put it, all you have to do is put an apostrophe in a space and impossible can become I'm possible. And as I've explained in my TED talk, there are four main steps to doing this in life. The first step is to find your passion, the gift that God gave you to impact this world uniquely. Second, never hold yourself back. Forget the stereotypes and don't worry about the naysayers. Just follow through on your mission and put in the work to manifest your vision because there's no other way that you can be successful. Third, help others. Because what's the point of making a name or money for yourself if you can't or won't positively impact other people with it? And finally, dream big. Because without that, we'll never be able to leave a legacy behind that others will remember and hopefully emulate in the future. You are a wise young man, Sparsh. Can you tell us something about yourself that only a select group of people know? One thing that only a select group of people know about me is that when I was younger, I used to draw a lot. Most of my drawings were reference drawings of animals or video game characters like Pokemon. And I actually still have most of them with me today in a little portfolio that I've collected over the years. Pokemon? Everyone likes Pokemon. You'll have to show us sometime. This question is more on the serious side. What is the one thing that people say or do that you wish that you would stop doing? The one thing I believe people really need to stop doing is telling themselves I can't. I think that's the number one reason why we have regrets in life. Because we tell ourselves that we can't achieve our dreams when really it's, it's just our mind that's limiting us. If people can tell themselves, I can, I think not only that nothing will be impossible for them, but also nothing that anyone else says to try to stop them will stop them. I mean, for me, every time I've told myself I can't, I haven't been able to do it. But when I tell myself I can, nothing that anybody has ever said can stop me from fulfilling my dreams. What are some of your future dreams, Sparsh? Most immediately, my next big dream is to release my debut original album. So all my own songs by the time I turn 18 or at least by the end of 2021. Once I release that, I want to go around the world and give concerts of my own songs so that I can inspire people with my music and my message at the most intimate levels possible. And who knows, maybe I'll win a few Grammy or Danny Awards along the way. That was beautiful, Sparsh. With your drive, we are confident that you will achieve all of your goals and dreams. Also, we really love the way you connected the Danny Awards right up there with the Grammys. As you know, we dream big too. Sparsh, it was great spending some time with you today. Thank you for sharing your musical talent and wisdom with us. Thank you so much, Daniel and Mr. Trush, for having me here. I hope I was able to make you all smile this Friday. We thank you, Sparsh. From, from the, the bottom, bottom of, of our hearts. Wow, that was great speaking with Sparsh. But you know what? It's time for our final segment. Food for thought. A thought-provoking quote or sentiment for you to reflect on. As an add-on to Sparsh's insights and sagely wisdom, we'd like to leave you with this quote from Albert Einstein. Out of clutter... Find simplicity. From discord, find harmony. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Smile Meter Friday as much as we did. And see, see you next time. time.